Coral reefs, the foundation of many marine ecosystems. It is made up of millions of tiny carnivorous animals called polyps. The polyps live in groups called colonies. Each polyp builds a case of limestone around itself by using the carbon dioxide in the water. How are these colorful communities formed? When polyp larvae attach to submerged rocks or other hard surfaces along the edges of the islands of continents, hundreds of thousands of them build their exoskeletons close together. This reproduces into a coral. When there is a good amount of food and sunlight, it eventually becomes a coral reef. When the polyps die, the skeletons remain. This provides a foundation for another polyp to build a house on. This cycle is continuous, with new coral building on the older ones. Healthy reefs provide homes for thousands of fish species, as well as seaweeds. There are two types of coral, hard coral and soft coral. Hard corals produce calcium carbonate skeletons for protection, and the polyps live on the outside. Soft coral does not produce a skeleton, but instead are supported by tiny spines. The largest reef in the world is the Great Barrier Reef, located in Australian waters. It is over 2,000 kilometers long and is so large that it can be seen from outer space. Pacific islands such as Fiji also have reefs. Here in Fiji, we have fringing reefs. We decided to explore this beautiful and diverse ecosystem and find out why it is important. There was no better place to go than Leluvia, a small island here in Fiji. It is only about 350,000 square meters in size. Aside from being a popular resort, it hosts its own coral reef that has many different species of coral and fish. We wanted to find out why coral is important here on Leluvia. The person to talk to was Unaisi, the resort's activities director. Like our coral reefs in Leluvia is like uh, it's one of our pride. The it attracts tourists to come to the island and explore what we have on the island and then they go out and share the knowledge of what we've been having more guests coming into the island and explore. You guys came was very dead, the oceans here were very dead and there weren't many fish. Um, what have you been doing to, you know, help the fish to grow, you know, to, so that there's more So fish. since I came here, um, the tambo was already established and the coral farm was already established. Tambu is a protected area. Coral is an important part of Leluvia's wildlife. But is coral important to the whole world? The answer is yes. Even though coral reefs cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, they support an estimated 25% of all marine life, with more than 4,000 species of fish alone. Besides being a tourist attraction, Coral reefs act as a significant food source for half a billion people worldwide, many of whom live far from the reefs that feed them. Millions of people in coastal villages of tropical developing countries, such as Fiji, depend on reefs for their livelihoods. Coral reefs also act as protection to the islands that they surround. When a natural disaster such as a tsunami threatens to damage islands, Coral reefs buffer waves and significantly reduce the impact. But unfortunately, human practices are destroying reefs worldwide at an alarming rate. The destructive human practices include pollution, overfishing, land-based runoff such as sewerage, and collecting live corals for the aquarium market. These are some of the many ways that people damage reefs all around the world, every day. We need to combat the deterioration of coral reefs because they support so many species of fish and so many people. There are many simple things that people and even countries can do to help combat reef destruction. You can dispose of your rubbish properly when you visit the beach and anywhere else you go. And you can support marine life conservationists by signing petitions that create sanctuaries for reefs and animals. On the Luvia, a sanctuary helps protect the coral and the fish species living among them. But to speed up the growth of the reef, La Luvia participates in coral farming, also known as coral aquaculture. 
we were privileged to do a bit of farming ourselves. First, we made holders to host baby coral in. We made holders by pressing shapes into the sand and then pouring wet cement into the shape. Next, we got into the water, not without trying to work our underwater camera. We found healthy small branches to put into our holders, then placed them in nurseries. After they grow to a certain size, they are planted around the reef in places that most need restoration. And that's what Leluvia does to preserve its coral reef. Thank you for watching.